what's going on guys it's Angel Ring going and um, like I said during the SummerSlam prediction video I said you know I should start doing more videos again I mean hadn't been really been much to talk about but you know I said fuck it let's do some more videos and I said maybe reviews you know haven't done reviews in forever so I guess why not do one right now so today I'm going to review uh, the most recent uh by the way i want to talk about SummerSlam real quick i want to talk about uh SummerSlam and uh and raw from this past monday uh i mean you know SummerSlam, the ending i didn't know what to say i didn't know whether to be happy or confused or mad or what i mean i was confused as fuck because i mean i wanted daniel bryan to walk out with the title but then randy Orton cash in and he's heel i didn't know whether to be mad that Brian didn't walk out with the title or be happy that Randy Orton's heel again and Triple H turned heel along with him So, you know, I don't know. I mean, I I was okay I would have been okay if Triple H stayed face, but I mean as long as Randy Orton's heel I'm fine with that and I, you know, I think I will be happy because I, I'm pretty sure Brian's gonna get the title back It's like the corporation, you know, Randy is the rock and um, And Daniel Bryan is mankind or Mick Foley, whatever, you know, so I, th I think he'll get the title back uh, at some point. But anyway, I guess I'll go ahead and do a, re a review, I guess. I will review this year's WrestleMania. Yep. Mm, I mean, by the way, I saw SummerSlam at that, at that Wings place with my homie Jacob. And we saw WrestleMania this year at that same place. Uh, it was it was pretty fun being there, you know, and eating there, and we made friends with some people, and we watched it with them. Uh, I wouldn't say this is one of the worst WrestleManias, but maybe rather one of my least favorite WrestleManias because I mean, there's a difference between worst and least favorite, you know. Like worst means that it absolutely sucks, but this didn't like completely suck. I mean, I don't know if I would have loved to be there in attendance, but at the same time, like you know, because the, the match that stole the show for me was Punk and Undertaker. I mean, that stole the show. Uh, Triple H versus um, versus Brock Lesnar. It actually was. It actually was pretty good. I actually liked that match. Uh, Rock versus Cena. It was okay. I mean, but they should have just kept it at last year, you know. And on top of that, I would have been. I would have been fine with it if Cena turned heel, but that didn't happen. So, but I mean, it, it's cool. I guess. I mean. It was okay. I mean, like I said, I don't know if Cena will ever turn heel, but you know, you never know. Uh, so WrestleMania this year. By the way, I'm going to extend my rating on matches for reviews. It'll now be out of ten. Out of ten, and now instead of five, I figured five was just a little too small. That range was a little too small, so we'll go with out of ten. By the way, this is a Blu-ray copy. This is my only, first and only Blu-ray. DVD, WWE DVD that I bought. Uh, and it's pretty good. The picture and sound quality is pretty good. But anyway, I go ahead and start. I'm started off the show with uh, with the team of Randy Orton, Sheamus, and the Big Show going up against the Shield. Uh, of course, I predicted the Shield in that one, and I mean, it was right that they should have won. I mean, if they could beat Cena, Sheamus, and Ryback, they could definitely beat these guys at WrestleMania. Although I know some PG kids were picking uh, Orton's team. But the Shield won that match. Of course, there was there was some big moments in that one with uh, the almost triple spear that ended with a show spearing all three of the Shield. And then, of course, there was uh, Rollins getting midair RKO'd. And as soon as Randy got up, the spear by Roman Reigns. Which, I love Roman Reigns' spear. I, I really do. And... Um, yeah, the Shield won, and Big Show turned heel immediately after that. I'm like, wasn't he a heel just about a month ago, and now you're turning him heel again? Now he's back, and he's a face. I don't get it. They're, they're going on and off with Big Show being face and heel. But that one, I'm going to go ahead and give that a 5 out of 10, I guess. I mean, it was an, it was an okay opener. It was, a, it was a good way to open the show. Then we had... Uh, Mark Henry versus uh, Ryback. 
I mean, this, this, since there was no Divas match that night, the Divas match got cut at the last minute, that could have been my piss break. I mean, I, I'm not saying that the times when I went to go take a piss, that I missed something big, but I'm just saying that would have been the best piss break. Of course, Mark Henry won, uh, and that, I would give that a 2 out of 10, I guess. Go with 2 out of 10. Then we had, um, then we had... Team Hell No putting the tag team titles on the line against. Oh, wait, am I saying the wrong the wrong match? You know, no, I'm going on the right order. Team Hell No putting the tag teams out on, on the line against uh, Ziggler and and Rye Black, Shock Lesnar, Solberg, Black Tista, Big E Langston, that guy. Uh, Big E Langston's in ring debut, of course, and. Uh, this is a this is an okay tag team match. I'm gonna give this a 5.5. Ended with uh, Team Hell No winning. Uh, and they almost pulled off WrestleMania 28 last year. They almost did with uh, Brian almost winning at the beginning of the match. And then we have um, Chris Jericho versus Von Don Gold. Uh, I can understand Jericho's here to put people over and stuff, and that's fine. But like. Why Fandango in his very first match? I mean, usually when he puts people over, people are, are have already competed in matches. He's barely putting Fandango. He's putting Fandango over in barely his first match, and on top of that, it's at WrestleMania. Like, why? I could understand if you want to put Fandango over at WrestleMania, but could he at least compete in matches before that? And I'm not talking about Johnny Curtis either. I'm talking about as Fandango, because you know, I can understand if WWE wants to forget that somebody was somebody else, but. And if that's so, then make Fandango compete in matches before you have Jericho put him over, and especially out of all places, WrestleMania. I'm going to give that a little bit over the Bret Hart and say 4.5 out of 10. Yeah. A little bit over Bret Hart there. Then we had uh, Alberto Del Rio. Alberto Del Rio versus Mr. We the People, Jack Swagger. I noticed in the promo... I don't know if any of you guys noticed this either, but when it showed the people watching the TVs, that those are that's the exact same clips from uh, the WrestleMania 17 intro. I was marking out about that. I was like, "Holy shit, that's from WrestleMania X7!" Ah, but uh, this, by the way, they cut off Jack Swagger's entrance. Uh, he got a jobber entrance, I guess. Um, yeah, WWE put together way too many video packages that night, and then. Um, Alberto Del Rio won that match via submission, and I thought Ziggler was going to come out and cash in, but nope, he didn't, but it was a, it was actually a good match, I mean, I'm going to have to give that a, I'll give that a, hmm, i give that a 6.5 out of 10, it, it, it was, it was actually a good match, I mean, yeah, and then we had, uh, then we had, let's see, The Undertaker versus CM Punk. Best match of the night, man. And I actually thought the streak was done with at, like, certain points in the match, man. Especially when CM Punk hit Undertaker over the head with the urn as he was given the last ride. By the way, that's another repeat from WrestleMania 17. Yeah, because at WrestleMania 17, Undertaker was going to give Triple H the last ride, but Triple H had the sledgehammer and he hit him in the head. And probably everybody thought it was over right there. But, of course, you can't beat the Undertaker. I know some... Uh, CM Punk fans, I don't want to exactly say marks, because they weren't all marks. A lot of them were marks, but not all said that it was bullshit and that CM Punk should have won. I mean, I understand that, you know, The Undertaker is a surefire Hall of Famer and that, um, he, and that he's got to lace up the, he's got to hang up the boots soon, you know. But, I mean, you think they want him to retire with the streak. I mean, think about it. Of course, he's going to be in the Hall of Fame. When they do induct him into the Hall of Fame, don't you think that they'd want to mention that he's un that he's the only person to ever be undefeated at WrestleMania? That's what I'm saying. You know, I, I had no problem with CM Punk losing. I, I really didn't. Like, if it was streak versus career, like Shawn Michaels and Undertaker, I would have, you know, been a little bit on the uh, kind of um, just not really on the fence about Undertaker winning, but... I don't know if I would have been on the fence about CM Punk winning. I don't know, you know. But 
Yeah, that was a great match. I'm gonna give that a nine out of ten. That, totally a great match. Uh, then we had uh, Triple H versus Brock Lesnar. I'm gonna give that an eight point five. It was actually a good match. I had no problem with it. And uh, of course, in the middle of the match was Brock Lesnar's legendary scream. If you don't know about that, YouTube it. He's on screen. <gasps> And I actually thought he was going to scream like that when he broke the announce table cover on Punk this past Sunday at SummerSlam. I thought he was going to scream like that again. <laughs> However he does it. If you want to look up the best version of it, YouTube, I knew you were trouble, Brock Lesnar. <laughs> Do it. I dare you. And then, ended with uh, Triple H giving him, did he give him the pedigree on the steps? I think he did. But yeah, Triple H won that match. Let me give that an 8.5. That was that was actually a really good match. Not as good as Punk Undertaker, but it was up there. And then we had Rock versus Cena to twice in a lifetime. Like I said, they should have just kept it at once. But you know, I I, I really thought Cena was gonna turn heel that night. I mean, he started copying more of the Rock's moves. I think he gave him a rock bottom. And of course, two SmackDowns before that. Uh, John Laurinaitis appeared and he confronted The Rock and I said, wait, this is kind of creating the tension for a heel turn. But, of course, uh, John Cena almost uh, did his, uh, made his same mistake from last year by running to the ropes and I liked how he stopped when The Rock got up and he's like, you know, like that again and then he gives him the FU. I don't think that was the winning FU, but whatever. Uh, Cena wins, so I guess we could put that to rest. I don't want to see it thrice in a lifetime when I go to WrestleMania 30 next year. I don't want to see any of that. So you know, I guess it's I guess it's good to finally pass the torch. But um, I give that an eight out of ten. I guess. I mean, I don't know whether to say it was at the same level or better than Rock vs. Cena won, but whatever, you know. Anyway. So yeah, that's my WrestleMania review. Uh, I think I'll review more WrestleMania soon. Probably should. But anyway, yeah, we'll see, man. Uh, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, follow me on Twitter, Instagram. Uh, we'll s see what reviews I can do soon. And we'll see where this uh, Orton, Mc McMahon Helmsley Orton uh, storyline is going. We'll see where that goes. And... By the way, I heard that it's going to lead to something at WrestleMania 30 where somebody represents uh, Vince. Like, Vince is in somebody's corner, like maybe The Rock or Stone Cold, and they face Triple H. And the winning, the winning person gets con complete control of the, of the WWE. So either Triple H becomes the chairman of the company, or whoever Vince is representing, or whoever is representing Vince wins. And then that gives, that has been stay in power, you know. But we'll see. We'll see by the time WrestleMania 30 comes around. I have a feeling something big will happen. I actually do. You know, like I said, we gotta wait. I certainly gotta wait. I want I want April 6th to get here fast as fuck. But you know, all right. Well, this is Andrew and Cohen signing out. Goodbye, everyone.